What's up, Burn Fam? My name is Sean. I'll be your instructor today. We got a 10-minute upper body workout for you. We're going to use some dumbbells, a set of dumbbells, small to medium, whatever you feel comfortable. Remember, it's all upper body. We're going to be working for a full 10 minutes. We got a short little warm-up for you, and then we'll get right into it. We're working biceps, triceps, and some shoulders. All right, here we go. Let's start with that warm-up. Let's get ready for some arm circles in three, two, one. Let's bring it on forward. All right, so big circles, loosen it up. Relax those face muscles. I know we only got 10 minutes here, but we're going to make the most of it. We're going to go back in the other direction, a little bit wider here, playing around with that height, keeping that core engaged. Let's get that rib cage knitted in. Be mindful about the lower body. Yes, we're working the upper body, but we're always working the core, working the legs. All right. After this, we're going to do some alternating hugs because we love ourselves today, every day. We go in three, two, one. We alternate. So alternating means one arm goes over and then the other arm goes over. All right, so we're opening up that chest, reaching behind us, getting those shoulder blades nice and warm. Again, trying to keep that core nice and tight, belly button up and in. We got this for about five more seconds, and then we're going to do a little down dog and a reach, getting down into that plank in three, two, one. All right, so for this one, we're just taking it easy. This is also a nice stretch for the lower body. You got the hamstrings, and you want to get that chest right over those hands. We're going to push back, open up those shoulders, say hello to your armpits, and push those hips nice and high. Let's do last three, and two, and final time. All right, nice job. So today, like I said, we got biceps, triceps, and shoulders. Today, I'm going to be working with seven and a half pounds. We're going to start on our knees. We're in the biceps first. We're going to do about 20 seconds for each move. I'm going to show you them first. We got a single, a single, and a double. After that, we have an overhand grip from the knees. And then after that, we're going for a narrow hammer curl into a wide hammer curl. So we're going to do 20 seconds for each move. Let's roll those shoulders back, squeeze those glutes, tuck the hips under. You know what to do with the core. Rib cage in, belly button in. Let's go in three, two, one. We got the right hand and the left. And then we bring both up to the top. Good. Nice and steady. So from the knees, we always want to make sure that our core is tight and that we're not swaying. So upper body work, sometimes when we're standing, we have a lot of work happening in the lower body. But if we're taking it from the knees, we can concentrate a little bit more on that form, keeping that elbow nice and tight to the rib cage, getting that palm to shoulder. Let's go for those overhand in three, two, one. Palms down, facing your thighs, and nice and easy. So this one's going to hit the wrists a little bit more, the forearms a little bit more. You want to squeeze those glutes. Again, get that rib cage in nice and steady with control. So at home, whatever weights you have, we're using that upper body work in the whole time. So even those light weights are going to start to feel heavy in a little bit, I promise. All right, let's go for three, two. Then we got those narrow to wide hammer curls and palms facing each other the entire time. And we got a little W, all right? Right up to the front, keeping it parallel, out to the side. We got that narrow, we got that wide. So we're going to do these three times through, and then we're going to go for some triceps. But stay with me now with these biceps. We're working on those guns, the nice guns on your arms. <laughs> and keeping it tight. Let's go back to the single, single double in three, two, one. We got one arm, the other arm. Let's hold on to that form, trying not to sway. Really squeeze those glutes behind you. Keep that pelvis tucked under, chin off of your chest. We're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. I don't know about you at home, but my arms, my biceps are definitely starting to feel it. Let's go over for that overhand grip in three, two, flip it down and up. If you haven't tried an overhand grip at home before, but it definitely hits a little different. You want to strengthen those wrist muscles. You want to try to keep those knuckles uh, pointed down, meaning that the wrist is straight. There's no breaking at the wrist. So from the top of your knuckle all the way down to your elbow, you have a nice clean line. All right. Try and keep that core tight, trying not to sway. We go back to those narrow to wides for up. Good for up. We're always going up. It's always up and down, right? <laughs> up. Squeeze, lower, and out. We're going back to those single, single doubles. Our final time through, and then we got triceps. In three, two, one, let's go. We got right, and we got left. I, oh, I'm telling you. Even these light seven and a half, you know, normally at the gym, if I had more than 10 minutes, I'd probably pick it something a little bit heavier. I'd take my time. But here at home, 10 minutes, wherever you are, you maybe you're adding this on to a workout. Let's go for the overhand. This is a great little burner for that upper body. Big smile, big breath. 
you're doing it. You showed up. Even the 10 minutes you took away to do this. Let's go for those narrows. Toe wide. Nice job. We breathe. Nice and steady. Always on the down. We want control. Control equals strength. Last three, two, one, and time. Whew. All right. Get rid of one dumbbell. We're going to go for triceps now. The two moves, we're doing a little halo. So we're going to go up overhead, biceps by ears, from the knees once more. We're going around in front of your head, and then alternate the other direction. Good. Breathe. So with this one, really articulate from the shoulders. So yes, we're working the triceps here, but we really want to open the shoulders all the way around. Again, taking out any of the swaying from the knees. So we got a little bit of core stabilization and work. And uh, yeah, more than just the arms. Because <laughs> everything, really, any exercise that you do is going to be more than just the one muscle you think you are working. All right, so let's go for those tricep extensions. In three, two, one, we squeeze it up and down. Try to keep those elbows in. Get that full squeeze and lower at the top. Keep that chin off the chest. Remember what to do with those glutes. Rib cages in. Pelvis is tucked. You're feeling a little bit in those hamstrings, maybe. And we squeeze and lower. Nice job. Elbows in. Belly in. We're breathing. We're burning. Last three, two, back to the halos. And time. We switch it around and come back. Remember, with this one, if you're going a little bit heavier today, you might feel your body really trying to sway. Try not to let that happen. Get control of the movement. And breathe. Nice open shoulders. We're Listen, we're sitting all day at our computers, on our phones. Shoulders are forward. Our head is down. Our neck is aching. We want to work on our form so that we can be functional in life, and we're going to perfect that here. All right, let's go up for those tricep extensions. We squeeze and squeeze. Nice job. Come on. And breathe. Then we go back to those halos one more time. Three, two, one. We alternate. This is our last time with these triceps. And then we get a little breath. And then I'll show you what we're doing for the last three moves of this workout, this 10-minute workout. You're doing great. Stay with me. Extend in three, two, one. Let's go. Squeeze and lower. Working those triceps, baby. We don't want those uh, flabby arms, right? My uh, great aunt, she's always just like, Sean, I don't want those flabby arms. I'm like, you're not going to have flabby arms. You're fine. Let's just do these. <laughs> and squeeze and lower. Nice job. Breathe. Three, two, one. Excellent. All right. So for the shoulders, our last three moves, we're going to get onto our butt. And we're going for our alternating Arnold. So we're going to lift our dumbbells right in front of our face. Elbows are lifted. You can bend the knees, widen the knees uh, if you need to, uh, need to for your lower back. And the goal here is to sit up nice and tall. So we're going to alternate punch in the sky right up in front of us and push. Try to get those biceps right by your ears. Take notice of your form in your hands as you grip the dumbbell. Again, we don't want to break the wrist. We want to keep it straight from knuckle all the way down to that elbow. We're going to switch into a little Z press, so we're going to stay in the seated position. Palms are going to face away in three, two, one. So we're out to the side and push straight up. Good. With this one, I really want you to try to fight and not push back, meaning lean back. So from head to tailbone, nice and tall. We're going back to those Z presses, or sorry, those Arnold alternating presses in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know. Now I'm telling you, I told you those light dumbbells, they're starting to feel way more than seven and a half pounds. All right, we push. Last three, we go back to the Zs. Two and one, out to the side. Tap it, good. And breathe, breathe. Whew. All right, let's go for five, four, three. One more time, two, and we push. And then I forgot, we do have one last move, but we'll just do it as a little finisher. I'm sneaking in a push-up, no dumbbells. We gotta work on those push-ups. You wanna get stronger? Push-up is a great way to work that whole body. Go for Z's. Last five, Woo. four, three, two, oh my gosh, one, and time. All right, let's finish this workout. We got a push-up coming at you. We're doing four shoulder taps and into one strong push-up. Just take it from the knees if you need to. Just keep those toes down, keep the butt down. But we're going to go four, one shoulder tap, two, three, and four. Down for that push-up. We tap, two, three, and four. 
Down for that push up. Tap, tap, tap. Let's go. Come on, we got this. We're just doing 10 and down. This is halfway. Try not to shift that weight too much. Keep those hips nice and square. Two, three, and four. Squeeze the glutes. All right, come on. This 10 minutes, we made the most of it. If you need to, after this, add on a little extra workout, maybe a longer one as a complement to this one. We got one more. Down, we tap, 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 and whew, done. All right, guys, we have our 10 minute upper body with the dumbbells, a little push up at the end. You did it, it's over, you made it through. Thanks so much for coming, have a great day.